This is the grape root borer. And it's coming to a pheromone. And this guy is just coming right to the net looking for a girl. Hi folks, this is David Fine from Keys Mods and I've got a rather short but very interesting video for you today. I'm in my backyard here in sunny South Florida. It is late spring and I have my butterfly net on my back porch just because I was going to I was going to try and catch something earlier and I saw it. So I just Planes stink for YouTubers. Yes, they do, especially when you're in the middle of urban South Florida. But guys, I had my net sitting on my uh, back porch here, and just just in case I saw something that I wanted to collect and get a uh, some photographs or video for, and I saw something super super interesting. Um, guys, it's all about artificial sex pheromones that companies make to help control pests and I got a few of these and we got a really really cool moth that came to this lure right here in our backyard so I'm going to tell you all about that I'm going to show you the moth check this out this have these have chemicals of a female moth that pheromone sex pheromone emerging from there. Okay, so this lure right here, this says the grape root borer, Vitacea polystiformis. It's actually a seceded moth. They are a group of moths that bore into the roots of their host plant as larvae and they feed on the roots of their host, host plants and they are big time agricultural pests. Uh, some of the bigger ones include raspberry borers and peach tree borers and in this case grape root borers and people that farm grapes uh, in California and here in Florida uh, have a problem with this moth because the females of this moth will come and lay eggs on the plant and the larvae burrow into the roots and can really damage or even kill the plants. And so what they've done is they've, and I'll show you, inside of this package, there is a little brown piece of plastic and that little brown piece of plastic has been dipped in what they've found is the artificial, artificially made chemical pheromone composition that the female releases and what they do is they dip that little piece of plastic in that pheromone and they put them out in traps and in their farms and stuff like that grape farms to keep these guys uh, populations under control they can at least keep, take all the males out uh, they they're trying to control the populations I don't know how much they actually work but boy do they attract the males and we're gonna show you Guys, this is an old lure. This is over a year old. This package has been open and it still attracts moths. Uh, guys, I came out from my back door and this is what I saw. Check this out. All right, keys moths, guys. I wanna show you something. There is an incredible moth right here, guys. This is not a wasp. Come on back, please come back, please come back. This, guys is not moth a wasp this is a moth guys this is the grape root borer and it's coming to a pheromone lure that i have in my net see these lures right up here guys are artificial sex pheromones i have my net sitting out here and this guy is just coming right to the net looking for a girl look at him look at him look at him oh how cool is that Vitacea, I believe it's pest, uh, polystiformis. Look at them. This have, these have chemicals of a female moth, the pheromones, the sex pheromones that they emit after emerging from their cocoon. And this guy right here is just super interested. Oh, he just flew away. Guys, hopefully he comes back, but this is super interesting guys these lures are almost one year old and 
they've been sitting on my net for a long, long time since last summer. And it's like May. So that shows you how long, in fact, which one is this? Oh, there it is, look. Check it out, guys. This is the package for the grapefruit boar lure that I have. I actually have it inside my net. And there's the lure right inside my net right there. Uh, these are actually, I think, these are clear wing boar lures as well. Um, but different species, those are like uh, peach tree boar lures. We were up in Georgia. This guys is the grapefruit boar lure and the moth that you just saw was the grapefruit boar, Vitacea polystiformis. And he was coming to this little lure, this little brown thing in here, which is dipped in a chemical pheromone. That's super cool guys, because that moth uh, looks a lot like a wasp. Um, the, you know, we're just in my backyard, by the way. That's um, another, another part of this. We don't need to be going out into exotic places to find moths, you know, like <laughs> this is like our backyard right in here in urban South Florida. They tend to like the afternoons. It's actually about 6.30 in the afternoon right now. And that is when the, uh, a lot of the um, facet moths are active in their pursuit of the girls. So. Uh, guys, that's pretty cool. You know, I got these lures out here. They're sitting up, tied to my net. They've been, they're a year old, and that is how long the chemical lasts on these lures. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this net back and see if our uh, gentleman caller returns. Pretty cool, guys. There you have it, guys. A little piece of plastic from a little lure like that little tiny piece of plastic that's all it took with some chem with the right chemical and it's over a year old attracted the grape root borer to my net and it was cool like he came in he investigated he looked around for a minute or a minute and a half and then he flew away uh but that was cool because that's really not that easy of a bug to find there were some other sasead moths down here that are a lot more easy to find we have um synanthodon um Sapigiformis, which is an oak borer. Those are a lot more common. And then we have uh, Synanthodon texani, which is also, I, no, actually that's a composite borer, but um, the, the grapefruit borer is a lot harder to find. And we saw that male clear as day um, come to the lure. So guys, if you learn anything, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And we're going to show you a whole lot more about the butterflies and moths of South Florida. Uh, guys, let's get out there and enjoy our backyards. Let's enjoy South Florida. Take care.